Well, I'm working on a fuel tank for it now. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I just bent a piece. I'm going to make some sides on it with some straps so I can uh, hold it down. I've already welded up that side. I've welded the outside and the inside. I'll pressure test it after to make sure nothing leaks. I'll have to do a hole on top, crappy, for my fuel tank, for my filler and uh, my sending unit. I want to mount it flush in the truck so you don't. Uh, my floor can be flat. Uh, that's it. I'll show you once I cut the other pieces. Well, here we go. Here's our tank. I'm actually super impressed because I always pressure test my fuel tanks before I uh, I do anything with them. And I only have one leak. That is just crazy. I can honestly say I've never had that happen. <laughs> All I do is I spray it with soapy water. for sure if I have one down there. I have a little one in there, but I think I have like an insane amount of pressure in there. See, all I do is I end up putting a zerk in it. I pressure test it. That's where I'm gonna cut the hole, put my sending unit. And then, I don't know, somewhere here I'll do a filler, just because. But anyways, it's usually what I do. I clean it off. Weld it up, spray it again. Usually I end up with more leaks than I got this time. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I am at, I've made the top, welded it in. Uh, don't really have a way to pressure test it now, so I'm just gonna seal this up. I'm going to, this is out of a, a GM pickup truck like I just cut it out of the truck there's a groove in there so uh, my plan is to put an o-ring on there so on this ring I made I just put it through the lathe and just cut a small groove around that five and a half inches wherever it was at and then uh, yeah pretty much bolt that sucker in good to go I uh, put my gas filler in there so that's right here uh, it's gonna sit, should sit tight, seal tight, so. Shouldn't leak out of there. Should vent from the top if it needs to. Should stay under my floorboards other than the small hole I'll have over there in the box. So yeah, pretty much made it out of three pieces, this tank. I have no baffles in there. I'm kinda gonna bet my money, hopefully this thing will work as it should. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll either work or fail. I'll just deal with it. Uh, well, there's the tank mounted. Well, I shouldn't say mounted, but what it's basically gonna look like. It's a little deeper than I wanted, but it'll do. I didn't want it to sit down so low. It's not as low as it looks, but it's definitely low. I'll probably have some kind of a bumper on the back, so. That'll help this cause. I wanted to keep it under the bed, so I might have to bring it down just a touch more. I'll probably just do uh, a plate off the back for this to rest on. I won't really bolt this down. But this, I'll probably just have a brace going across, bolting from underneath, just so I can drop the tank down if I had to. And then when I do the floor, I'll just have a, a hole right there just so for my fuel. That is the plan. 
Well, I think that's it for tonight. Going to clean up a bit. Call her night.